photo. Or I just thought I'd make a quick vid. Um, I've been making vids lately. Um, yeah, we'll move the caravan. Same property, but on a just a little bit nicer site. Um, just getting set up. Got a lot of work to do. Um, I'll spin around, give you a quick look. Excuse the mess. I've got um, there's bits and pieces laying around everywhere while I set up. And, um, got my roof there with gutter that I made. That's gonna have a. 200 litre tank or possibly a thousand litre ICB on it and that's going to obviously be lifted up bamboo poles and have a nice little private outdoor bathroom and shower um, grass clippings going along the fence there just to inhibit long grass um, this is where we are there's a stream right there goes over the little bridge got my little chicken tractor on there at the moment uh, they're just in there in the box that I moved them in just to sort of get them used to being moved around in it then I'll chuck some hutches in there I've been playing around with this today it's a, it's a blackboard, a solar water heater black tube, blackboard I've just got a battery at the moment it's my spare transit battery cheers Mike um, and a little, my shower that I actually uh, I broke we forgot to disconnect it from the caravan when I took off and it pulled the plug off it so recycle that that's pumping water through uh, but I'm gonna chuck my 150 watt um, solar panel on that and that should power that all day long for free and at the end of the day you just have some nice um, warm water to have a wash uh, a couple little bits of deck I'm gonna possibly use them under the bathroom um, still haven't done my deck yet just because I, I knew I was gonna move so haven't done that but we've got a nice area here chuck a little fence in here keep the keep the little one in away from the stream in there which is full of kaikuyu so um, I'll get some haloxa flop I think it's called and um, try a little test area there see if that'll clear the grass out uh, do a bit of a regen down there um, Isaac wants to um, sort of plant natives all the way along here get rid of all the privets and stuff like that and regen it back to native but yeah it's a nice little area got some um, where are we Got a few little plants and stuff going. Chilies and corns. The other garden's cranking. We've already got tomatoes and beans and lettuces and all sorts that we're eating. But yeah, it's gonna get on top of this kaikuyu. A few weeks of um, regular mowing and that finds up pretty well. That's about it. I'm getting eggs. Um, so I guess the next thing we'll do is probably um, get some meat animals and. Um, fatten them up there's no shortage of grass in here at the moment so that's the one that the cattle's been on for I think a couple of weeks now and it's still loaded with feed they've topped it pretty well got it down but um, plenty of feed there but uh, pastures are greener greener on the other side you know so they've got all that feed and then the other ones are growing back too but it will probably slow down a bit coming into um, autumn now so but yeah just cruising playing around with this I'm gonna chuck a uh, I'm gonna build a parabolic tube to go across here which is basically a, um, a half a pipe or tube and it's lined with a mirror or you know reflective foil and that'll have a metal tube that goes through and that just directs Sun all the way onto the hot tube you put that in just before it gets to your water tub and it gets um, amplifies the heat quite a bit so I'm gonna have the, the blackboard with the black tube pumping through here and then where this one comes down it's going to come in the back go into the parabolic tube I might actually um, put a u-bend in and do two of them to double the heat and that'll direct the hot water straight back into there and I might set up a, um, a mirror over here for the afternoon light and direct that onto there too just to make it as efficient as possible uh, so as long as there's sun out that black will take heat in hopefully I might put a shed a glass or perspex over it during winter and that'll um, give it a bit more warmth anyway but see how it goes have it set up ready for next year anyway but yeah that's it there's a uh, Isaac's banana palms they're still a little bit shaggy but they're definitely definitely taking off doing all right one uh, that one there got a bit busted up by uh, Dovey but they're coming along they're definitely growing they've taken well and that's good I'm just about to go down and grab the um, raised bed, which is going to go in here probably. Um, 
we're going to have a we're going to build an outdoor sort of cooking area eating area in here gardens along here so you can just go pull stuff out of the gardens chuck it on the barbie in along here and we're gonna have some guinea fowl soon yeah so little bits and pieces are happening um, just taking steps towards becoming a bit selfish yeah self efficient um yeah efficient yeah um Especially with the current atmosphere of things, you know, cost of fuels massive and blah blah blah. So if we can do all these little things and sort of supplement the the wallet, even cover the cost of petrol a bit, you know, that'll make things a lot easier. But yeah, I'll get back to you um, maybe in a week or so when I'm all set up.